try to walk you through how to take a melting point using our Digimelt melting point apparatus. You can see in the viewfinder that on the left hand side I have an impure sample of acet analid and on the right hand side is my recrystallized acet analid. I know that my purified should melt at about 114 so I'm going to compare how the two uh, melt to test the purity of my recrystallized. Over here we have the um, setup. I have inputted my start temperature to be 110 degrees. My ramp temperature is one degree per Celsius because I'm trying to get a really tight range. This is a slow run. And then my stop temperature I've programmed to be 120 degrees. When I'm all ready to go, this, lit right, this light right here that says ready will be in green. And that means I'm ready to go. So I'm gonna hit the start button and you'll see that the temperature will start to rise. Then I'm gonna come over here and watch on my through my viewfinder what is happening with my crystals. So I zoom in here, nothing really is happening. My temperature is at 109. When I start to see the crystals melt, I can just hit these buttons here. So I'm gonna use button number one for the sample on the left and button number three for the sample on the right. That will record the temperature at which you push the button so you don't have to be monitoring the temperature very closely. You can just push the buttons when you first start to see differences. Now let me zoom in here and see how good my iPhone can do. What we're looking for is the temperature at which the solid first begins to melt. A melting point is a range. It's never really just a number unless your sample is super pure. So we're going to look at these crystals and see the temperature at which it first starts to melt or it first starts to change in appearance. And this is going to take a couple of minutes here. Okay, we're getting close now. My temperature is about at 113. Things should start to happen in the next minute or so. So let me go over here and focus in on what's happening on my crystals. That's kind of poor. Focus. Focus in. It's eh, about the best I can do right now, guys. Sorry. I'll have to see it when you come to lab more clearly. So I'm just watching these crystals. I'm focusing in, trying to see when they start to melt. The one on the left is starting to go. You can see the color changing at the bottom. So since the one on the left has started, I'm gonna hit button number one. That tells me that my start temperature is there. You can kind of see it starting to melt a little bit up at the top. It's getting clearer. The one on the right is holding steady. The one on the right has started to go, so I'm going to press number three. That tells me my first temperature for the one on the right. And now we're going to continue to wait until the sample is completely melted. You can see it kind of growing in. The one on the left there is getting clearer and clearer. I know the one on the right is a little harder to see. But it also is getting clearer and clearer. The one on the right has completely melted. So I'm gonna hit number three again. That'll record the temperature for me at the point at which it's completely melted. The one on the left is still going. All right, it looks to me like the one on the left has completely melted. There's just a small amount of solid left over, but for the most part, it's completely melted. 
So I'm going to go ahead and hit button number one again. That tells me that that's the temperature at which it's completely melted. And now I'm going to hit stop and the Digimelt will start to cool down so it'll be prepared for your next sample. You can see that light there that says cooling is lit up in red. Now if I want to go back through and analyze the data to see what my actual melting point range is for temperature for uh, the sample on the left number one, it started melting at 113.9. I just hit that button once. If I hit it again, it tells me that it finished melting at 115.6. So the melting point range is 113.9 to 115.6. That's the impure sample. If I want to see the temperature at which the pure one melted, I hit this button. It started melting at 114.4 and it finished melting at 114.8. That smaller range does show that the recrystallized acid analyte is more pure than the uh, unrecrystallized acid analyte. A tighter melting point range tells you about the purity. Also, the literature value for the melting point is 114.3 according to Wikipedia. So we're much closer to the melting point temperature, the literature temperature for our recrystallized as compared to 113.9. It's lower, impurities lower the freezing point, freezing point depression, a colligative property. I hope this video helps. I'll see you in lab.